Hi, welcome to Van Red. In this new episode, we show how we have tackled the water system for the conversion of the current Mercedes Sprinter. We define several principles when designing the system. First, the water filling, water tank, pump, water heater and outdoor shower are placed in one cabinet. Second, this cabinet is mounted inside the camper so that the chance of freezing is reduced if you go camping in the early or late season. Third, everything is easy to reach for maintenance. In this episode, we mainly show how we built the system. If you would like to see how we fit the system into the van, please leave a comment in the comment section below. We have drawn the frame in SketchUp so that we can see in advance what we might encounter. In addition, it provides a clear-cut drawing so that we use time and material efficiently. The parts are cut from 50mm poplar plywood. This material is very lightweight and fits nicely into our current design. We drilled pocket holes and assembled the panels according to the drawing. We then placed all the components in the frame to determine the exact location of connection points and cut the necessary holes. We treated the plywood with a varnish to protect against any water leaks. We have treated important cracks and seams with sanitary sealant. In this design, we deliberately chose a water tank of only 45 liters, 11.8 gallons. When traveling through Europe, facilities for filling fresh drinking water are not far from each other. You can therefore quickly refill the tank if needed. The advantage is that, compared to a larger tank, it saves weight and thus fuel consumption. This tank comes standard with a large opening and corresponding screw cap. This makes it easy to clean. We provided the tank with four connections. One to fill with water. The water cap and is on the outside of the cabinet, but inside in the vehicle. Two to drain water to the pump. Three to be vented during filling. And four to measure the water level using a sensor. The water tank gauge will be connected later. This tank has four attachment points so you can fasten it properly. The pressure pump is a Fiamma Aqua 8. It has a maximum capacity of 7 liters per minute. We mounted the pump vertically so that the connection with the expansion vessel is more in line. We then installed the Fiamma A20 expansion vessel. This expansion vessel extends the life of the pump as it ensures a stable pressure in the system. As a result, the pump does not continuously cycle on and off. The hoses are attached to the hose tails with hose clamps. We have provided the threaded connections with Loctite 55 thread sealant. The hoses between the water tank and the pump, as well as the pump and the expansion vessel, have a length of 0.5 meters following the pump insulation manual. This length of the water hoses ensures that vibrations from the pump to the rest of the system are minimized. We have placed a drain valve in the pipe between the pump and the expansion vessel. This is the lowest point in the water system. We are not yet connecting the electricity. This happens when the cabinet is placed in the van. The water system offers a lot of comfort when you're on the road. When installing a water heater, it is possible to wash with warm water, take a shower outside, as well as do the dishes. We have chosen the Duato MK2 digital water heater. This is a dual voltage, 12 volt, 230 volt water heater with a capacity of 10 liters. The cables are routed through the bottom and these are connected when we install the water system in the van. The screw connections are wrapped with Loctite 55 thread sealant to make it watertight. The pressure relief valve with a non-return valve is mounted on the cold water inlet. Then the T-piece with the two hose tails is screwed onto it so that the hoses can be connected. The hose from the expansion tank is split. One side goes to the water heater and the other to the cold water inlet of the kitchen faucet. For the outdoor shower, we opted for a solid and above all design hand shower. To place this hand shower, we made a wooden attachment on which the copper base is mounted. We screw these to the inside of the cabinet. The black mixer tab and cover plate are mounted on the outside. This looks super sleek. When connecting the hoses, make sure that you do not reverse the cold and hot connection. We install all the components of the water system. Everything is hooked up except the electrical parts. But this is for the dry run to see uh, if all the plumbing is watertight, which at the moment it is. We put 12 volts on the pump. 
and now we're able to uh, use the faucet. The boiler is filled as we uh, turn on the water. Also the pump is uh, running to get the system back pressurized. We can also use the uh, shower which will be in the back door. So uh, acceptance test finished. We're now ready to install the system in the van and hook up all the electrical parts as it's supposed to be. Thank you for watching. Hit thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe for upcoming videos. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.